Hey, um, this is like part two of the first video. I looked at the first video and I realized uh, that I kind of left a couple things out, a couple important things, and I don't want to really, you know, stir anybody around. And so, um, the couple things I left out when we were talking about CHF, and this is just because I was spitting it off the top of my head, but a couple things I left out, the Foley catheters. Uh, I told you that they like, some doctors like to have Foley catheters because um, some men have prostate problems. Well, another reason uh, to put a Foley catheter in the uh, uh, in a patient that has CHF is it may be an elderly patient that can't really get up uh, as many times as he or she would need to get up uh, to get all that fluid off. Uh, the Lasix or the medication we give to make the patient urinate, or it pulls fluid from everywhere. Um, you will see like a, maybe a five or six pound weight loss overnight. That's how potent this uh, fluid medication is or this diuretic is. So it's just not for people who have um, prostate problems. It's, it could be for elderly patients or it could be for some doctors who just want to ensure that the person is urinating um, like they're supposed to to pull all this fluid off of the heart and lungs. Secondly, uh, the thing I left out Probably the most important thing besides airway, calm this patient down, okay? Uh, when a patient comes in and overload and they can't breathe and they feel like they're drowning because they literally are, calm them down. Ensure them that it's going to be okay. Tell them what you're about to do. Every step of the way, you want to let them know what you're going to do because they don't know what's going on. They're just scared and they get this feeling of doom. So you want to explain to the patient everything that you're doing, what's going on, and why it's going on. So that's that's another thing. Make sure you calm them down, okay? Uh, another thing is um, you may be scared because they can't breathe. And some of them you'll see that they even have a color change. If you're scared and you're nervous, please don't show the patient that you're scared because you're not doing anything but making them scared. You would make me scared if you were scared because I would think you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> So just kind of keep calm, okay? Uh, don't panic. Uh, and that's with any situation uh, in nursing. Even if someone is having an acute MI or heart attack, and you know it, keep calm, okay? Uh, what else? Uh, expect uh, blood pressure issues from this patient because they have so much uh, fluid retention. Uh, you may see a spike in a blood pressure. Okay, um, so you want to monitor blood pressure closely. Also, another really important fact, when you give in Lasix to a patient in CHF, uh, usually you want to check the potassium level as well because Lasix is a drug that depletes your potassium level, okay? When you urinate, you're going to urinate out a lot of potassium as well. You're going to lose potassium. So most doctors put the patients on potassium uh, when you're uh, doing any kind of LASIK therapy. And when you're on LASIK therapy, you want that's a lab that you want to continue to check is the potassium level to make sure you're not depleting it uh, too much. And if you're given potassium, and this is not just goes with congestive heart failure, a lot of nurses or not, a lot of patients are on a potassium once a day, twice a day. I'm not telling you to go and comb through all of your labs every single day before you give all your medicines. But let me tell you something. One lab you want to look at before you give this medicine is potassium. Um, potassium level normal is 3.5 to 5. Before you give potassium, make sure you know what the uh, potassium level is because potassium is uh, a drug that will cause lethal arrhythmias. In heart patients or non-heart patients, it will make your heart, your heart act a fool. <laughs> so, you want to check the potassium level whenever um, you're giving potassium, okay? Is that all I had to say about congestive heart failure? I just looked at the video, I was like, oh my gosh, why did I mention this? Why did I mention that? Um, so, yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to say, and I'm keeping it short and sweet, and I hope if... You looked at the first video, you'll look at this one because it kind of goes with it. All right. Good night, y'all. Bye.